Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today I want to talk about editing inside of DaVinci Resolve. I get quite a few questions, people asking me if I don't have anything else, can I just use DaVinci Resolve for editing and pretty much my whole workflow from ingesting media all the way to render? And the short answer is it's a little bit awkward, but in my opinion, it's totally doable to create a whole project all within DaVinci Resolve. So take note that this is DaVinci Resolve 12.5 and I'm running it on a pretty decent PC, 32 gigs of RAM. I have a four gig video card, it's a GTX 970. Now I'm gonna test some of the editing with, in my experience, some of the hardest footage to play back, which is footage from a DJI Osmo. This is pretty much the same type of footage that you get from drones, which if you've ever opened drone footage in Resolve or even Premiere, you know, it kinda has a hard time playing it back. For instance, I'm gonna grab my first clip, drag it down to the timeline, this is a UHD clip in a UHD timeline, and I'm gonna zoom in. And as I scrub back and forth, it takes a little while, kind of lags. It's not the worst, it's not horrific, but you see what I mean. Not so great if you're trying to move at any decent speed while editing. And this is pretty much the only thing that's bad about Resolve. All of the editing tools and everything are really good, really well thought out interface. Everything's awesome, except for it just doesn't play stuff back real well. So here's a couple tips if you wanna create a whole project in Resolve or if you just want Resolve to run faster. I totally recommend using optimized media. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a proxy file. This clip, if we open up our inspector, 3840 by 2160, 23.976 in H.264, kind of hard to play back. What we can do is have DaVinci Resolve make a copy of this footage and transcode it to a format that it really likes and it's really easy to play back and everything will play nicely. And here's how easy it is. You go to your clip. This is DJI 0002. I'm gonna right click and say, generate optimized media. And it takes just a second. And now watch what happens. Look at that. Look at that. Just buttery smooth, no problem. You can play around with it, do all your edits, and it's super duper fast. And because it wrote this to a separate file, you don't have to re-render it or anything when you change things. It just works really fast. And the awesome thing is, if you want to go back to your original media, all you have to do is go up here to playback, and you'll see at the top it says used optimized media if available. Just unclick that, and now we have our original media loaded. And you can tell because when you try and scrub around, it doesn't work very well. So that's super slick, right? And it's really easy just to grab all of your clips, right click, and say generate optimized media. And it'll take a couple minutes, render proxies for all of these, and put them on your scratch disk. Then it will play back like butter. And the thing that's really cool is when you render, it will automatically switch all of these clips out to the high quality versions, so you don't have to remember to do that. Because I can see you not remembering to do that, because I would. Now, a couple extra notes on this. If you want to get rid of your files, you can go up to playback and say delete optimized media. And of course, like we said, we can switch in between, no problem. And you also might be asking yourself, okay, well, if it's making proxies, what kind of proxies is it making? What's the codec? Well, you can set that. If you go down to the settings cog, go to general options, right here under optimized media, it's telling you what it is rendering. Right now I have it set to DNX HRSQ, which is a nice, easy codec to play back, has good, good color fidelity, good quality, and I'm doing it at half the resolution. So this is 1920 by 1080 in DNX HRSQ. And of course you can set it to a bunch of different things. If you're on a Mac, you can set it to ProRes. One thing I found is you can't set it to Cineform, but these presets, at least on my system, seem to be working super well, so I don't care. So you can set your format really easily there. Make sure to set that before you generate optimized media, or if you already did, delete your optimized media and render it again. And what's cool is this even works in the color page. And so if I move back and forth, you can see it scrubs very nicely. And I'll zoom in here to see what kind of quality difference we have. Right now I'm on my optimized media and I'll turn it off and move it back and forth to refresh the viewer. And there's not much difference. So let's play with this here so we can see the differences. You can see once you crank it pretty crazy, you can definitely see the difference of it 
switching out the media. But for most normal grading, what you see with the optimized media is a pretty decent representation of what you'll get with the original files. But if you're unsure, you can always flip back and forth to make sure that your grades look good. Then when you're ready to render your project, you can go to your settings here and under video, under advanced, there's a little click mark here that says use optimized media. Maybe it's some kind of fast draft or something and you want to use the optimized media, you can, but the default is off. So it switches out to the good media before you render your project. So like I said, the playback is pretty much the main problem when it comes to working in DaVinci Resolve. So that's not really a problem if you have a few minutes at the beginning of your project to generate optimized media. It goes really smoothly. So I hope that helps for anybody who's excited about editing stuff in DaVinci Resolve, the most awesome free program in the world. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And of course, for more color grading tutorials, editing tutorials, post-production tutorials in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Casey Ferris. I'll catch you later.